Right, we're off. We're going to get some um, hollow stems that have found the whole lot near a train station. So uh, uh, Dale, who's filming, and I are going to go and get ourselves lots of little habitats for mason bees, or try, and uh, we'll show you a bit more as we go along. Um, but anyway, you can see it's very, very, very cold. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to this uh, this train station, which I, I pass by every time I come out of uh, Paris, and uh, I've seen that there's, there's these uh, European sort of bamboo things in the station, and we're going to go into this thicket of uh, plants, and um, we're going to try not to destroy uh, the thicket, but we're just going to go behind and, and take a few hollow stems from these very, very tall plants and hopefully uh, that way find lo lots more um, tunnels for our bees. Uh, last year I tried to use them and uh, they worked very well, they were actually better than the hogweed. Um, but the trick will be to identify what they are so that everybody else can um, find them or recognise uh, where they are. come back for those and uh, they're, they're very similar to what we're going to but I think they're on private land so I'm not sure we can uh, jump around on them so here we go we're going to the train station we're going to find the car park now and here in the corner I don't know if you see it there's all these plants ready to be harvested what we're going to do we're just going to park ourselves up and we're going to So this is, um, actually this is very short uh, spaces between the nodes, the knuckles, uh, so I don't know if it's going to be quite as good for the bees as other stuff I've found, or maybe we've got to select um, pieces that are. There you go, as you can see, um, there's the uh, hollow stems, and uh, this one's probably a bit too short, I think this is probably going to be a bit short, but this is, this is basically it, we're going to find these stems which are long enough. I'm not collecting these, I'm just showing cutting. So this this really isn't probably long enough for my bees. I could try it, I could try it out a, a selection, but I, what I've got to do is find something a little bit longer. Here we go. So that looks a very, very good length. I'm going to cut it just below the knuckle. And that one I'll keep. And this will all rot down anyway, because it's I'm not wasting the material as such. So that's too small. That's too small. And now we start to get the, the sizes of the tubes that are internal damages about right for the bees. So there's one that uh, I'll take. Oop, dropped it. So there we go. That's about uh, 10 centimeters long. I mean, the bees will like that. It's nice and solid and dry. And uh, last year I had a few. Uh, I've probably got about five or six cocoons in there. Um, two or three females at the back. And then, yeah, so this is it. So I'm going to get my bag out. And there you go. And now I'm going to start collecting others. Here's my nephew cutting some, he's found himself a nice length, some good tubes. He's getting quite skilled at this. There you 
go. He's cutting just below the, the node or the knuckle, as we've been calling them. So he's collecting a whole lot of them. Now these aren't that long, um, but uh, they're still going to encourage the bees. And what I've done with some of these is that uh, if they're really, really wide, there you go, you can see the, this is get in the focus, you can see the ends of the tubes are perfect for the bees. Uh, if they're too wide, what I've done is put even bulrush reeds in to hold them in place. So um, so the bees prefer the bulrush reeds and, and that sort of holds it all and protects them. So there's, yeah, that's it, that's a good one, that's a good look. That's the back of the knuckles. You can see the um, the nose. You can see the the, um, the cell walls, as it were, the walls of the of the uh, nodes, uh, which which naturally form a, a blockage for the uh, for the bees. So the bees start building against the back wall. Okay, that's cool. There you go. We've got lots and lots of this stuff. I think with this thicket, we'll have to uh, really look for the ones that are long as possible. Uh, that's a pretty good source of, um, of bee uh, habitats. Notice that the, the, one, the ones coming off the main shoot are uh, much better length. So what I'm going to do is just take a few of these these smaller ones. They've still got a very good. Uh, they're actually narrower, and I think they're better for the orchard mason bees. Uh, and we'll just see. I mean, I'll put out all these different um, hollow stems and see what comes in. So now I'm back at the uh, workshop, um, just putting these um, these plant stems into old tin cans, which I've cleaned, and uh, just separating out the, the ones that have got relatively clean ends, so the bees don't get uh, stopped at the entrance. Just putting them into into the cans and this will form the the new habitats for the bees and now I'll, I'll cut some of these down but you can see the principle now I've got a I've got some here this one in the middle here it was relatively successful it, it's it's like um, a thistle uh, stem more of these. So there's another thistle stem. They're hollow. And uh, on the third one along I've got not much light here, I'm sorry. On the third one along I've got hogweed. And again I've got to trim these down. Uh, I'll have uh, perhaps I'll have a selection of long ones. So these are the main three reeds uh, three uh, reed type um, stems I've been using so they're all hollow in the middle and this one here is uh, reeds from uh, simple uh, similar to bulrush but much more a uh, finer type of flower I've tried some bulrush reeds today and uh, they're they've not got hollow stems uh, the actual bulrush reeds okay so there you go these are the, these are the four main plants that I've managed to find locally which will form the um, the right shape uh, for the right size for the bees. This, these will form the new habitats, which last year, um, if you see on some of my other videos, uh, ended up uh, being very, very successful for my bees.